that's good for me. Let's go, guys. We got an awesome lesson today. We're learning how to use the binder in our Guyad solos. This is Roland Blase, CompactKeyboardSchool.com. All right, guys, today's a special lesson today. We're learning how to use our binder. And what key are we in, guys? We are in the key of B flat, guys. So what's our chord progression, guys? It starts on what? The four, which is what? E flat. Then it goes to F, then it goes to D minor, then G minor. So E flat, F, D minor, G minor. So it's a four, five, three, six. That's our chord progression, guys. So no matter what, so no matter what we do, we're gonna focus on these chords no matter what we do, guys. So I put on a nice solo sound that I have, guys. Remember, if you need compa sounds, go to compakeyboardschool.com. You'll find all the sounds you need. What is our scale in the key of B flat? It's what? B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. So what are we learning today, guys? How to use our binder. Now there's different ways to using it, but when it comes to Guyad, I try to keep it very simple. The easiest thing for you to do, guys, is only to manipulate the binder, the left binder going up, like with this timing. Well, you just kind of push it up and let go. You push it up slowly and let go. So I like to do that, guys, with only three notes in my scale, because the other notes don't work. You see how funny that sounds? It sounds mainly good, guys, with what? Our one, which is B flat, our five, which is F, and our two, which is C. So our one, which is B flat, two, which is C, and our five, which is F. So, remember guys, all the other notes, we're not going to worry about using the binder for them because they aren't as smooth using this technique where you're moving the binder up and letting go. So, we're going to use that binder technique using the 1, 2, or 5 as our passing chord, guys. So, what do I mean by that? So, we know our chords are E flat, F, D minor, G minor. So, we know that, guys. So, we're going to take like two notes two notes from each one and use our binder for the higher octave and you're gonna see what I mean guys so on E flat we're gonna use these two notes G and B flat because that's a part of E flat you see what I did I hit the five which is F I moved the binder up and I let go so we're gonna try that again guys And we're going to do the same thing with all of our chords, guys. You guys ready? Let's go. how good that sounds guys using two notes from each chord and responding with this I hit F move the binder up and let go let go of the binder so you see how I'm doing it guys very simple technique now we're gonna try a more complicated binder technique guys we're gonna try hitting we're gonna try hitting this B flat doing the same thing on the B flat with the binder first guys and then we're gonna hit the F so let's do it guys watch out you guys heard that? It sounds good still. So.
sounds really good, guys. Really good. So, and remember I said you can use B flat, F, and you could even do the C. You could do the second note with the binder. So let's try uh, F with the second note. Guys, once you get used to it, it'll feel good. When you're soloing, you'll have a lot of fun. Use your binder, guys. All you have to do is hit either the second, fifth, or first note. And then you move it up and let go while holding the note. Very simple technique, guys. So we're going to try just a bunch of examples of it. I'm going to just keep soloing so you guys can kind of hear what I'm doing here. So um, let's see what else we can do, guys. Let's use a different type of approach. Let's try to solo using all three. All three of these notes, guys. And we're going to use the binder. So watch this, guys. So watch this, guys. Move the binder up and let go on F. Move the binder up and let go on C. And land on B flat. And then you walk from your E flat to your F chord. Then walk from your D minor to your G minor chord. So it's a very simple technique, guys. Learn to use those three notes. Learn to slide the binder up, guys, as much as possible. You'll sound more professional. That's what the professionals do. So guys, I want you guys to stay tuned. We got more videos coming. We're gonna let this beat ride so you guys can practice. Rolling Blase, Compa Keyboard School. Hey, what's going on, guys? Listen up. If you need Compa sounds, don't forget to go to CompaKeyboardSchool.com. At CompaKeyboardSchool.com, we have tons of Compa sounds. Whatever you need for Compa, guys. Even if you have the old sound module, the Rolling XB5080, we have the card for that. We have all the Mod X libraries that you can think of, guys. Every style. We have six to eight banks. Uh, it, even right now, we have a Black Friday sale. 50 bucks for two libraries that aren't included in the other libraries. You get 50 bucks for two libraries, guys. So if you've already bought a library, go ahead and get that pack. Listen up, guys. If you need Compa sounds, CompaKeyboardSchool.com is the way to go. Not only do we have Compa sounds, we also have Compa beats. We have free downloads for Compa beats, guys. If you need some Compa tracks, if you need some practice beats, some backing tracks, this is the place to go to. Go ahead and go to CompaKeyboardSchool.com for that. If you need private lessons, be sure to reach us at CompaKeyboardSchool at gmail.com. Remember, go to CompaKeyboardSchool.com for all of your Compa needs. This is Roland Blase, signing out.